The title of today's video is A Quiet and Relaxing Autumn Photo Walk in the Garden. And uh, when I got to the garden, it was neither quiet and I was not feeling particularly relaxed because as soon as I walked past that uh, first welcome waterfall in the garden, there were about 30 or 40 volunteers working on the holiday light displays that they put up for the holiday season. And they were making lots of noise and all the lights are... I don't find particularly attractive, even if they're not in the way of my photos. They're just not that, that attractive to me. So after I noticed all that activity, I was a little disappointed. I had been looking forward to a quiet time in the garden. It's uh, late October. It had just rained, so there's not a lot of people there, uh, except there were because of the volunteers. But um, I realized this was a moment for an adult learning opportunity. And the learning opportunity was, okay, just adjust your expectations. Uh, there's still some photos here I can make, and since it had just rained, and I really, really, really enjoy raindrops on leaves and flowers, I knew there'd be a lot of photos for me. And then kind of like a little sign from the universe, or whatever you want to call it, there was a hummingbird just as I walked in, and he was down lower, much lower than they usually are in the garden. They're usually up high in the trees, but he was kind of hiding around the back of this bush just as I walked in. Uh, so I got the 70 to 300 out and got some photos of him, and it was just a nice little, uh, okay, in the midst of the things I wasn't excited about and was disappointed in, there's still opportunity. So I was really grateful for that. Uh, as you'll notice, most of the photos uh, in this video were created with the 70 to 300. Uh, I, the more I use this lens, the more I really, really enjoy it. It's such a great value in the Fuji uh, lens system. Uh, it's so versatile. Image quality is lovely. Um, I was at an event uh, last weekend with uh, where there was a, one of the Fuji reps there, and I showed him one of the photos, and I said, that was with the 70 to 300 handheld, and he just was like, wow. So uh, it's a great lens. If you're in the Fuji ecosystem, I highly recommend the 70 to 300. Uh, the ability to focus pretty close to so right around two and a half feet at 300 millimeters gets you lots of magnification, and there you go. Another thought I had after, as I'm walking through the garden, is I wasn't feeling like I was really getting photos that I liked. Uh, I was creating photos, noticing things, but they weren't really jumping out at me uh, while I was creating the photos. I wasn't feeling like, oh, I've got a lot to show from this, even though I was enjoying the process. But then when I got to the computer and started doing the edits, that's when it really jumped out to me. So photo lesson, adult lesson number two from all this is for me, um, these photos were really completed in the edit. So in Lightroom, in processing, uh, putting the finishing touches on these photos of color and light and texture and detail uh, happened in the software and it brought these photos to a new place for me, which I am really like now. Uh, I don't remember liking them as much when I was looking at them on the back of my camera, but once I started editing in Lightroom, I was really liking these photos. So. Uh, sometimes you need the software to finish the photos. At least I do. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found some quiet and relaxing moments here uh, and that you enjoyed this. And if you did, if you have any thoughts or opinions you'd like to share, please leave them in the comments below. I really, really enjoy having conversations with you. If you have any questions about why or what I did, uh, also that's a great place to ask in the comments. If you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please click that uh, like button uh, that lets YouTube know about things you like in video land and so it'll show you more of them. Also it helps uh, this channel quite a bit and me therefore by potentially showing this video to more people. So that's a huge help to all the YouTube channels out there. Every time you click that like button it's a big big help to us. Thank you. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this I make them about once a week so uh, click the subscribe button and you will see more videos like this hopefully showing up in your YouTube feed. Thank you for that as well. So coming up in the next two videos next week will be the much anticipated and sometimes requested night photos in downtown Bellevue. So I'll be doing that next week and the week after that you can look forward to a, a first impression video about the new Fujinon XF 30 millimeter f 2.8 macro lens that I'll be picking up and I'll give you my first thoughts on that but uh, I had a quick hands-on the other day and 
it can focus really, really close. I'm really looking forward to that. So stay tuned. We'll have more fun on this channel, and I look forward to uh, seeing you then. Uh, until we meet again in a future video, stay safe, stay well, and have fun creating photos. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.